Good morning, adventurers. We are on the streets of Havana, Cuba today. Um, we are in desperate need of breakfast, so we just stopped at this random little shop. It's and, uh, literally at the bottom of our building. How yeah. much more convenient can you get? And all these little uh, snacks that they have here are each like a dollar each. Um, so we're gonna load up here, and then I think the plan is to just basically explore Havana today. The city's pretty walkable, so I think we're just gonna give ourselves our own little tour. The streets in Cuba are so far pretty chaotic, so we're being very careful as we cross the street. Tall got himself a little pizza. Little Havana pizza. Call me a little Havana pizza boy. <laughs> ding ding. Seeing all these classic cars around the city is absolutely amazing and it really fits, but they don't run very clean, so you can smell the exhaust in the air. And that kind of like it gets into your nose. It's crazy. Paul is in desperate need of a hat because uh, his hair is getting a bit out of control. He's on a mission to get a fedora, the perfect fedora. I don't know. No, that's like half bowler, half. Yeah. Uh, it's like a oh. Kind of. Yeah. I feel like us together could pick that car up. <laughs> This big street we've been walking along here is called the Malacan, and uh, I guess it's kind of a main thoroughfare, so we've just been kind of walking along it because it kind of follows the water across the city. Guys, the weather here is incredible. It is warm, but not too warm, super breezy, and not very humid. As you've seen in our previous vlogs, we have been sweating to death, so this is feeling glorious. Jump. Jump it then. You guys remember how many times I jumped in England? Well, it is a little scary. Yeah. I did it. Wow, how many bruises do you have now? Nothing. My sandal saved my life. kids are just swimming in this fountain over here. I think they're trying to sell us stuff. Yeah. They keep yelling out random candy names and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that is one thing about Cuba that I've found out. Everybody has some kind of a hustle. Just like how they get by. We've all just kind of stopped to regroup because we don't really have good access to a map or anything. We don't really know much about the area. We did a little research ahead of time, but none of us really have access to internet. So trying to figure out exactly where to go and what to do. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. So we just ended up chatting with a couple people and they gave us some recommendations because they've been hanging out in this area over here. So should be a little bit more to see over there. I found the cat jackpot. <laughs> Look at all these little cuties. What are you doing? You chewing? Oh, nope. Uh-huh. You better not touch them. They're so cute. This is such an interesting place, you guys. It's like being on a different planet. Like every corner you turn. It's pretty surreal actually being in the middle of it all. Stumbled into some kind of market that has all kinds of crazy artwork and sculptures and there's a lot of people here. <laughs> it's pretty chaotic. <laughs> I think we're gonna go upstairs and chill out and grab ourselves a drink because it is getting very, very hot out there. Now the mission is to find the bus station because we need to take it to Puerto, Puerto Esperanza, Esperanza tomorrow. tomorrow. 
we're gonna go into the, like proper Cuban countryside, but it's kind of hard to get information about all the buses and things. <laughs> Because, because that. There's no internet, man. Who needs internet? You gotta ask people. Bike. We just gave him one of our Cuban Guys, we just found this random vendor riding a bike over here. And he was selling ice cream and it was literally like 25 cents. No, it was one, it was one USD for five. So like 20 cents for one. That's crazy. They're little guys, but yeah, these will do the trick. Like strawberry or vanilla? Which one vanilla. Yeah. My well, Allison one, y'all. I got the vanilla. I got the strawberry. That is really good. Muy bien. <laughs> so quick update, we made it to the bus station and there's no bus that goes to the place that we want to go so of course there are a ton of taxi guys outside but they came up to us with an insane price so we had to haggle them down. I think we got about... It's only 15 per person. It's 15 per person for a three hour ride. Yeah, all the way around. And that's two different taxes because we have so many people and all our stuff yeah. so we, we had to do some haggling to get them down to that though so we feel like it was a pretty fair price. Yes, but just know that if you are planning on taking a bus um, somewhere else in Cuba, know that it like the popular places fill up really quickly. So tomorrow there was only one bus left um, if we were going to have taken that. So just make sure you come the day before, otherwise you might show up and there yeah. might not be anything no bus. for you. So the driver's gonna pick us up tomorrow, so we're spending the rest of the day of the day here in Havana. We've been searching high and low for a decent food spot. It's pretty hard to come by a good food spot here in Cuba we've been finding. But we found us a little spot here we're gonna check out. Whoa, that's what I ordered? Holy <laughs> shit, that's a big pizza. Oh my gosh. Get some ham on there, my son. So I ordered a pizza that was about three dollars fifty USD, and this is what I got. I was expecting like a tiny little thing. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Nice. Oh my god. We're all like, wow. Arroz con pollo, rice and chicken. That looks great. I'm pretty happy with our choice here. Check this out. Yeah. What is this? Just a uh, rice and uh, rice and beans, and then this is uh, I think it's stewed pork in like a tomatoey sauce. But I believe this is one of the national dishes here, oh, so nice. I was really excited to find it. Guys, Josh's rice is the bomb. It tastes straight up like a pot of chili or something. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of flavor going on in there. It's very good. This is like that center that had the monument earlier. And we tried to walk across the road over there, but two uh, guards stopped us and told us to get the heck out of there. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. <laughs> so you have to go around this complex. You're not allowed to step over there. <laughs> We're back at our apartment and we found uh, a ladder that goes up to the roof. So I think Tall's gonna lead the way. We're gonna go explore some Cuban rooftops. This looks a little shady. <laughs> this is scary, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Look, this is a pipe. That's what I was saying, man. Jeez. <laughs> so I thought this was just gonna be like a rooftop, but I guess people kind of use this space. There's a little table over there with some pipes on it. We got some laundry here. And of course, a beautiful view. games and watching Cuban TV. Um, playing a little game called, uh, what? Love, Love Letter. Letter. Love yeah. Letter. But it's been a lot of fun, but we're gonna end the vlog here. Allison is not feeling well, unfortunately. I think I might have drank some water along the way or something. Yeah. <laughs> no way now. And we have a uh, very early morning tomorrow. We're heading to Vinales, and uh, we're gonna take a little taxi over there. It's gonna be a long drive, but it should be fun. It's gonna be a fun travel day. Yeah, and then we're hopefully gonna take Another taxi to another location, but that's TBD. You'll have to stick around to see if we make it. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.